Hello, and welcome to this real-time charting for WPF video. I am Sarah, and I will be your guide. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of the major features of the component, and to provide some visual assistance in how you can customize them. We'll cover the following topics of interest. The component's ability to handle large amounts of data, the unlimited number of Y and Y2 axes, which you can define, the tooltip and how you can customize it, the legend and its template, ways to customize the grid, some major styling options. We start with the Visual Studio project, where the component is already placed in a grid. As a beginning, we'll start it with just a single series and monitor its performance. Here it is. We check that it takes about 26 megabytes of memory. Let's add two more series and see the memory load. It's increased to 30 megabytes, though we are running three times more data. Let's add scatters to the series. No difference to performance. It has even dropped. Let's speed up data generation and see what happens. Memory load stays the same. Let's make a final change. Add the remaining two series. They are defined with scatters. Now we are running five series in real time, all of them showing scatters. Memory usage is still 30 megabytes. Let's speed up the data. No change in performance. Now let's move to our second topic. The unlimited number of Y and Y2 axes a MindFusion real-time chart can have. Here is the familiar chart. As you can see, it has four axes three to the left, which we call y-axis, and one to the right, which is a y2 axis. Let's see how we can add another axis to the right to make them more symmetrical. We find the code for the y2 axis and we just copy it. We make some adjustments as to the scale of the axis. Let's start at zero and end at 10,000 with intervals of 1,000. change the title as well, and add the new axes to the collection of Y2 axes. Next, we'll bind the data for the last series to this new axis, otherwise it would be of no special use. We find the code for series 5 and change the axis it uses to the second axis in the Y2 axis collection, which is exactly our new axis. We generate random numbers as data and obviously would have to change the numbers to keep the data adequate for its new axis. Let's see the result. Here it is. Our new axis shows to the right. Next feature, the tooltip. By default, the tooltip is turned on. It shows the coordinates of the mouse position. The Y coordinate is obviously taken in context of the leftmost Y axis. Let's change that and bind it to the server 3 y-axis, which is the first next to the plot area at the left side. We change the tool to axis property. Here is a catch. Do that after you have defined your y-axis, otherwise you get an exception. Let's make the tooltip more funny by changing its background too, say pink. Let's see the final result. Mmm, be beautiful. Next feature, the legend. By default, it's under the plot area in the middle. That's regulated with the chart template. Let's move that legend to the right. We'll have to modify the chart's template. The template is fully cited in the component's documentation, both offline and online at mindfusion.eu. Here we go. From Programming Interface Overview, we choose Real-Time Chart. 
then General Template, and we select Copy Code. The chart's elements are arranged in a grid. We'll have to change the cell of the legend control. Let's define a new grid column to the right and move the legend there. If we leave the legend as it is now, it will move to the right in its current form, which is not how we want it. We obviously want it more narrow and longer, preferably one item on a line. We change legend width. Legend height is not needed. Let's see how it looks now. Quite good. Let's move on to the grid. The chart has now a standard grid with major and minor gray lines. Let's customize that. First, we'll make the grid denser, and then we'll color the major grid lines in blue. Here it is. Finally, some styling modifications. First, let's change the background. We have a more colorful new logo. We are setting it as the background. We can adjust the scatter type for the series. Let's change T for the last two of them. Finally, we pin the labels at the x-axis, which fixes their position. With that, we've covered it all. You can read more about the amazing capabilities of the real-time chart at http colon slash slash mindfusion.eu slash wpfchart.html. Thank you for watching.